Hey guys, it's Vicky. Welcome back to our little place for happy things and thoughts. So today, um, I'm actually not feeling very happy. Um, it's been kind of a weird day. I don't know. I've felt a little sad, um, just out of it and just not myself, which I know is probably weird for me to share because if you guys have seen me before, you know, I'm always happy and positive and not a lot of folks share the sad or dual side of them because it's just not something you really do on social media. Um, definitely did not, oh, hey Ozzy, did not expect and had no energy to make a video today, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get myself out of this rut and do my makeup. Just a natural, simple look, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. If you're feeling the same way, hopefully this video helps you, or hey, maybe you just wanna learn how to get the simple look. So I'm starting off by applying some moisturizer, as you can see here. Um, I use my Trader Joe's one. I know that when you're feeling this way, you don't always wanna do your makeup. I know I don't. Sometimes I just wanna lay in bed, but sometimes looking a little better on the outside can help you feel better on the inside. Next, I'm applying some primer and my e.l.f. foundation, and I'm blending those together. I don't really want thick makeup. Like I said, this is, needs to be natural, so I want some really light foundation, almost like a BB cream, and I'm applying it all over my I also just took some plain foundation and used that as a bit of concealer under my eyes and some red spots. Um, I had really dark circles today. I'm telling you, I was just not feeling good. So I applied some foundation for extra coverage directly to the areas that I felt needed it. Next, my lips were super dry, so I applied some chapstick and left that on there while I moved on to the rest of my face. So as I said, I was feeling really dull, so I wanted this to be a rosy look. Um, so taking um, that pink eyeshadow, I applied it to my crease. And then taking a eyeshadow that was a bit darker, um, bronze in color and extra shimmery, I applied that all over my lid. As you can see, it's a really simple, straightforward um, eyeshadow. And it's probably one of the more simple looks I've done on this channel. It's almost like a no makeup makeup look. Now it's time to curl those lashes to make them a little flirty and perky. So a one and a two. And don't forget to breathe in between. <sighs> Breathing always makes the body feel better. Taking a spoolie, I also brushed my eyebrows and made them a little more neat. No filling them in today. And then with a brown eyeliner, this one's from Wet n Wild. I picked it up at the Dollar Tree. You guys, I love the Dollar Tree. Um, I just very lightly lined the outer corners of my eyes. I feel like brown uh, liner really helps achieve that natural look. So I just did that. After that, I applied some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And for my bottom lashes, I kind of dispersed it or blended it out a little um, with my finger um, so that it wouldn't look as heavy and spidery. So that helps them look full, um, yet still at the same time, a little more natural. And breathe again. Woo, adjusting the camera, whoa. Nope, it, mm, that's good, okay. Now I'm gonna conceal a little bit more. So I have a dark and lighter uh, concealer and I'm taking the darker one and applying that again over the red spots. Um, and then blending that out with a little foundation or concealer brush. And then I'm taking a lighter color and applying that under my dark circles uh, to help hide them a little bit better. Using a lighter color in that area helps brighten your face. And once that's done, I'm taking some highlighter and I'm applying it with a very small brush to the inner corners of my eyes to help brighten them up a bit. And now it's blush time, so I just want a rosy look. So I'm applying it generously to my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks to be more specific. Whoa, a little too generous, um, but whatevs, I'll blend that out in a bit. To help blend it out, I'm just taking a foundation brush and using that as a magic eraser um, to help blend it out. Next, I'm also applying some to the tip of my nose and to my chin and along the forehead. Going back to that brown eyeliner, I'm applying some to the outer corners of my bottom lash line and then taking a small precision brush and blending that out. Um, 
I feel like this just helps bring the eye look a little bit more together. Lip time, I'm taking a matte lip cream, rosy pink matte lip cream, and I'm applying that to my top and bottom lip, uh, but blending it out with my fingertips for a more natural look. And then after that's done, I'm taking a pretty soft pink e.l.f. moisturizing lip color and applying that over um, my lips. I feel like it's so natural and glossy looking without it being too much. Perfect, and now, Lord help me, my hair was just so bad and needed Jesus today. Um, but I'm putting it down for now, but I'll get back to that in just a second. But one of the things that really helps folks feel better when they're not feeling well is changing. And that doesn't mean changing into the nicest outfit out there. Maybe just changing your pajamas. The ones that I was wearing prior were just old and ugly and quite frankly smelly, but these are new, freshly washed, they make me feel good. Sometimes you just need that. Anyways, going back to my hair, there's not much I can do here or I want to do here. It's not gonna be a fancy hairstyle, but I'm just taking two strands on each side and pulling them back, tying them back um, for a kind of half up, half down hairdo sort of look. Um, and I just didn't wanna have it in a bun. I just wanted something that made me feel a little bit prettier. And as you can see, you don't have to do it a lot, just something really simple. So I felt like that made me feel pretty good. And look at that, my smile is starting to come back. Yay, and also spritz yourself with some nice smelling spray or perfume. That helps so much bring the spirits up. And that's it guys. Very simple, natural, rosy, no makeup, makeup look. You almost may not even be able to tell the difference, but I'll insert a before and after here. Sometimes a little makeup can go a long way. And like I said, guys, you don't need to do this. Sometimes you just want to stay in bed and feel sad, and that is okay. But before the video ends, I do want to share with you guys a few things that I do when I'm ready to get out of that rut, aside from maybe doing my makeup, um, that just help me feel better and more positive, that bring that happy energy into my life. And so some of those things include cuddling with my dogs. I feel like dogs, whether you believe it or not, or pets in general, just know when something's not right and they're there for you to comfort you and make you feel better. As you can see, Ozzy just crawled up to me and Charlie just wanted a nuzzle by my face. Something really special about animals, so cuddling with them makes me feel good, or maybe talking to a relative, uh, my husband, anyone that you feel can be there for you and hear you out. Gardening too. Uh, I have a little patio, maybe you have some plants, tending to your plants reading a happy, positive book, or just any type of book that can help take your mind off of the negative or unhappy thoughts. Watching a favorite show, I would recommend comedy. My favorite thing to obviously watch all the time is The Office. Also, making yourself some tea. Uh, it helps warm the spirits. My favorite currently is this chamomile honey tea. Also, going out for a walk, exercising, just doing something to bring some physical activity into your day, or running yourself a nice warm bath and taking the time to pamper yourself. And then finally for me, prayer. I understand and acknowledge that not everybody um, shares the same beliefs or you may not even have any, but if you do, I really encourage you to tap into that spirituality as a lot of times the soul really needs it. Anyways guys, I hope that you guys like this video. It's a little bit different, but I wanted to share a different side of me. And I hope that by making this video, um, if there was anyone out there that felt the same, uh, it helps you feel better too. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by. It means so much and I love you guys. If you haven't already, uh, make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you back on here and be friends with you. Sending you guys all a really, really big virtual hug and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.